I remember one time I had a dream I was eating a steak, right? And my mother woke up and she said, what's wrong with you? What you dreaming about? I said, I was dreaming I was eating a steak. And she smacked me. Bam! I said, why you smack me? She said, because you're selfish. <laughs> you should have woke your brother up and shared that dream with him. <laughs> One of comedy's biggest stars coming to Tacoma next month, Donnell Rawlings will be performing at the Super Funny Comedy Club August 2nd through the 4th. And joining us this morning on Good Day Seattle to tell us more, Donnell Rawlings himself joining us live. Hi there. How you doing? Uh, I guess you don't understand the plight of someone growing up eating dreams because you didn't really give the laughter <laughs> that I needed for that. <laughs> you probably ate everything in your imagination. In my life, I had to dream about it before I could even make it uh, consumable. But... You know, people grow up different ways. I'm from the streets. I'm from the um, um, from the streets. I'm from the creeks, and it's obvious that you're from the streets, sir. <laughs> well, I'm I'm from the I'm from the burbs. I, I, we we have streets and sidewalks and whatnot. Uh, now, it, Manic you have manicured lawns too. You have manicured lawns. Yeah, very lawns. much. We have we have drive-by greetings in my neighborhood. And you also. You also have probably two parents in one household, too, so you're definitely winning. You have hit and miss there. Now, Donnell, you were in Tacoma last year, but when you perform at the Super Funny Comedy Club, I mean, yeah. you got to be super funny, right? No pressure. You up for this? Yeah, I'm super excited about it. I have two uh, experiences away from the Super Funny Comedy Club. I toured with Dave Chappelle at the Tacoma Dome, and I uh, toured with... Uh, Joe Rogan at Tacoma Dome, and I tell you, that place, I know the, um, the comedy club is a lot smaller, but the energy yeah. I got from 25,000 plus people twice, and I only got a chance to do 10 minutes, 15 minutes, so when I come back, you get to see me do an entirely new hour removed from this hour that I did on my Netflix special that um, premiered February 27th. Uh, Nate is doing a good job of branding that club. It's one of the best places to see stand-up comedy, and I'm excited to be there. Fantastic. Now, you mentioned Dave Chappelle, and folks know you from The Wire, Winning Time, Chappelle's show, and you and Dave Chappelle are still tight. That, that special that you were talking about, I understand uh, Dave Chappelle helped produce that. Uh, and I think Chappelle is one of the all-time greats. Uh, how has he influenced you in your career? Well, you know, I'm older than Dave, but he's more of my senior in the idea of you know, how long he's been in stand-up. But I look at some of the things that he's done, you know, even though I'm older than him, and I think that I'm funny in my own right. I just look at things that he's done for the comedy community, for the culture of comedy, standing ten toes down on what he believes, dismissing the idea of cancel culture, because I don't necessarily agree with cancel culture, because... What the media will do, and I'm not saying you're guilty of this, you can engage 100 people or critique them and ask them, did they like a special? Three people may say they didn't like it or they were offended, and those are the people we give attention to opposed to the 97% that like the show. So when I come to uh, Tacoma, what you're going to get from me is unedited, unfiltered. You know, I'm not, like, like crass or anything like that, but I will say that I do dabble the line. One of the phrases that uh, resonates through my brand and even my social media posts, someone asked me once, Donnell, can a joke be too soon? And in some cases, I think a joke could be too soon, but it never could be too soon for a funny observation. Yeah. And that's the brand I'm you're going to get if you come, when you come see me. So now, you're working The Wire. I wanted to ask you about that, because for my money, that is one of the best shows ever created. Hyper-realistic, the story of Baltimore from the mayor's office to life on the streets. And you played bread on that, stro on that show, a guy on the I streets. Played, I, played, I, I just want to I played bread on the original show, The Corner, which put me in position oh, right. to get the character as um, as uh, Day Day Price on the wire. But your history is right, but we just need to rewind it a little bit. Yeah, uh, rewire. Yeah. So, do you, so when you're working on on a show like that, do you get a, a sense of the larger themes in the show while you're working on it? Well, for me, like for me, in, in, in regard to that show particularly, I did a show called The Corner, which I played bread to, uh, the heroin addict. Now, David Simon, who's the creator and writer of The Corner and The Wire, he's very loyal to actors that he worked with in the past. So that gave me an opportunity to audition and get um, uh, uh, and book the character um, uh, uh, Day Day Price 
For me, because comedy is really what feeds me. That's like my ultimate passion. When I do acting, it's just like fun. I get to play make believe, and I learn a lot on set. But I don't. I'm not one of those trained actors. Like, well, I'm drawing from my experience from this and that. For me, it's just me playing make believe, try to bring these characters to life. Now, anybody that's a fan of The Wire, it's a little fun fact that you may not know. The first season of The Wire, they focus on the towers and they focus on the streets. Now, when Wire wanted to shoot the second season, the Baltimore Tourism Board complained because they said whenever they come to Baltimore, they always depict the Baltimore's crime-ridden, drug-infested area. So they had to change the storyline. So the people that are really fans of the Wire, you would notice it was a shift in the story. It went from the towers to the docks. And the reason why I did that shift and the story arc change is because they couldn't do the inner city stuff. And that's when my character, Dede Price, got kind of lost in the series. But David Simon being very, like, like, like partial to the actors he's worked with, he brought my character back on, on, the, on the season finale just to pay a little homage or just to say, yeah. Donnell, thank you for it on the other stuff. But that show, interesting enough, Entertainment Weekly did a... Um, uh, article maybe three or four years ago, and they listed the top 100 shows in the history of television. HBO's The Wire, and HBO's HBO's The Wire and Chappelle Show ranked in the top 50 of every any type of show that's ever been produced on television. So, yeah. if I ha have a legacy that's anything, I was a part of two historical shows. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say so. I, I definitely agree with that. Don L. Rawlings coming back to Tacoma August 2nd through the 4th at the Super Funny Comedy Club. Can't wait to have you back, pal. Thanks for your time.